Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, hot, cold, we got a diverter valve. So that's your, like your shower valve. You're gonna pull it out for when you uh, want your shower to work. You pull it out, you're gonna push it in, and you want it to shut off, kind of deal. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna take this apart because it wasn't working right. I'm gonna show you what I did to fix it. So anyways, I got a pair of channel locks. Um, you can go and get the proper wrench. I'm just gonna use this. So we're gonna unscrew it. Okay, so my diverter valve is this. So anyways, O-ring got came off, it broke, lodged down into here and behind the plunger, and it wouldn't the valve wouldn't work correctly. So we replaced the O-ring itself and when going to put it back in i noticed that when you go and you try and put it in you can't but because if we look down in this hole here there's another uh, seal so in there there's another seal so this seal so this seal is normally in place up in the spot so anyways we're going to pull that seal out All it does is look like this. Let's see if we can't get a zoomed in on it. So one side is rounded, and the other side has a bit of a, a shelf to it. And what happens is that we're going to take it, put it on here, just clean this off, take our O-ring shelf going on to this here. I'm just going to snap it back onto this before we put it back into the wall. Da, da, I'm gonna clean your other seal off. Da, da. Just a minute, buddy. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna put it back in the wall. So we changed our O-ring, and it's good to go back in. We're just gonna check inside the hole there, make sure there's no foreign objects or anything that's gonna looks like it's gonna cause a problem. I don't see anything. It just looks a little dirty. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to wash this off there before. And that's probably what we'll go ahead and do. So I got a disinfectant wipe there. We're gonna see if we can't clean some of that off. Just clean it up a little bit. There, so we got it a little bit cleaner. Cleaned it up a little bit. So we're gonna take our diverter valve. We're gonna put it back in. You want to make sure this is on. This is going to slide down into place. You got your third O-ring on there. This piece here comes off. Not all of them have, are the same. It slides down onto this little shelf here, this little edge. So we're going to go ahead, slide that back in. You just want to kind of get it down into place nice and straight. And then start screwing it back in. So once it's snug, snug by hand, Gonna take this, probably give it about a half a turn, quarter turn. This is nice and snug. This is still gonna move a little bit, I guess. I don't think we can go much tighter than that. There. I'm assuming this is bent inwards a little, so it's not gonna sit real flush. Okay, so let's go ahead and try her out. So I got one of these magic wands. Just gonna see if uh, give this a pull. Okay. There we go. There, now our shower is working again. Now, what a lot of people do wrong is when they go and they turn their shower off, they'll push this before they turn their water off. Go ahead and turn your water off first. It's going to relieve the pressure in behind this. Then you can go and push it back. That way your seal doesn't come off the back side of your diverter valve. So just keep, keep in mind of that, that it can uh, cause your, because see, as I let go of it, it goes back in. So the water pressure keeps it out. 
you push on it, it's going to possibly push the seal off the diverter valve. So make sure you shut your water off before you turn the valve back to uh, running from just down below. Alright, there you guys have it. Make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe. Uh, leave your comment below what uh, what's going on with yours and how you fixed it. And we'll see you next time.